Government health warning, this song is an earworm. It will crawl in through your ears, it will infect your brain, it will go round and round and round in your head until it drives you crazy. And yet it all began quite innocuously with a wee notice posted up in the New York tram cars back in the 1870s. Uh, it was in instructions to the conductors as to the correct procedure for issuing and punching tickets. Uh, only it was seen there by a bunch of many fellows who thought, uh, it's almost like poetry, and they decided they were going to turn this into a humorous ditty, which they then sent to the editor of the New York Tribune, uh, who published it, and it was read there by a whole lot of people, including Mark Twain, uh, author of Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn, and all the rest. And having read this, he found he'd got it stuck in his head, and it was interfering with his work, because every time he tried writing a book, he would just get the lines of this song coming out of his pen instead. And in an attempt to get rid of it, he thought he would write a humorous article all about it, uh, which of course, um, because he was a popular author, got read by tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. And so this song became uh, almost a, a global pandemic getting everywhere, uh, including, would you believe, a wee French village called grace loin which is on the edge of the forest of Fontainebleau. And in the summer each year, a whole bunch of American artists would gather there um, to paint uh, landscapes and generally enjoy themselves with their bohemian friends, one of whom by chance was Robert Louis Stevenson. And uh, when they'd finished the day's painting, they would amuse themselves by boating on the river. Uh, in canoes or wash tubs or tea chests or anything they could find and they would stage these very silly sea battles trying to capsize or sink each other. And uh, as they were mucking around on the river they would be singing this silly ditty. And uh, all this would be taken in by a wee group of French children who would line along the old bridge to watch the fun. And they would end up singing the ditty as well even though they didn't understand what the words meant. And I don't for the life of me know how they ever managed to get rid of it. Um, some kind of herd immunity, I suppose. Um, but eventually it died down. And so, anyhow, I thought in the spirit of international friendship, or possibly malice, um, it was time for a second wave, which I shall now attempt to start. If you don't wish to catch an earworm, I suggest that you self-isolate in the kitchen now. Conductor, when you receive a fare, punch in the presence of the passenger. A blue trip slip for an eight cent fare, a buff trip slip for a six cent fare, a pink trip slip for a three cent fare, punch in the presence of the passenger. Punch, brothers, punch with care, punch in the presence of the passenger. Six 